My name is Robert and today I'm teaching you how to play Save Me by Shine Down. To start off, what you need is your guitar to be tuned in drop D, and if you don't know how to do that, what you want is the fourth and the sixth string to sound the same when they're open. Or you can put your finger on the seventh fret of the sixth string and make it sound the same as the open on the fifth string. Alright, so let's go ahead and zoom in and let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start here in the intro, and it sounds like this. Alright, so what this is, is just going to start off on the 6th fret of the 3rd string. Okay, we're just going to bend it up and bring it back down. Alright, one more time. Okay, then we're going to go down to the 7th fret on the 4th string. Alright, so it sounds like this. Alright, we're just going to do that twice. Okay, and then we're going to go down to the 4th fret on the 3rd string. Alright, then go down a half a step to the 3rd fret on the 3rd string. Alright. So all together we have this. Okay, so now we're going to go into the verse. It sounds like this. So what this is, it starts off with a 2-4 power chord. It's going to be your index finger on the 2nd fret of the 5th string. Okay, your ring finger is going to go on the 4th fret of the 4th string. And your pinky is going to go on the 4th fret of the 3rd string. So it sounds like this when you play it. Alright, so you're just going to hit that once. Alright, now what we're going to do is go back to uh, that 6th fret on the 3rd string and bend it up and bring it back down. Alright, now we're going down to that 7th fret on the 4th string. Okay, then we're going back up to that 4th fret on the 3rd string. Alright, then go down a half step to 3rd uh, fret on the 3rd string. Alright, so it sounds like this. So we're just going to do that twice for the verse. Okay, so now we're going into uh, the first pre-course. Uh, what it's going to start off with is that 2-4 power chord shape that I showed you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the fifth string first. Alright, then the fourth string. Alright, then the third string. Alright, and then the open on the second string. Alright, so it sounds like this when you play it. Alright, one more time. Alright, now we're going to do a little bar chord shape. Uh, what you're doing is barring the fifth fret between the fifth and the second string. Alright, you're just going to lay your index finger there uh, across those strings. And you're going to put your ring finger on the 7th fret of uh, the 4th string. And your pinky is going to go on the 7th fret of the 3rd string. Alright, so basically when you play it, it sounds like this. Alright, and we're going to do uh, basically the same pattern as before. Go on the 5th string first. Alright, then the 4th string. 
Then the third string. And then the second string. Right, so it sounds like this. One more time. Right, so we have this so far. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put our hand in the shape of an A chord. It's going to be the open on the fifth string. Right, your index finger is going to go on the second fret on the fourth string. Right, middle finger on the second fret of the third string. And ring finger on the second fret of the second string. All right, go ahead and do the same thing as before. It's going to be the fifth string first, then the fourth string, then the third string, then the second string. So it sounds like this when you play it. Time. All right, so all together we have this so far. All right, now what we're doing is making this little chord shape. It's going to be your ring finger here on the fifth fret of the fifth string. All right, your pinky's going to go on the fifth fret of the fourth string, and your middle finger is going to go on the fourth fret of the third string, and the second string is going to be open. All right, so it sounds like this when you play it. All right, all we're doing is just playing that once. And then keeping that hand position, we're just going to move it down a half a step. All right, so it's going to be your ring finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string. I'm right, pinky on the fourth fret of the fourth string. And your middle finger is going to go on the third fret of the third string. All right, and the second string is going to be open. So it sounds like this when you play it. this for the first part of the first uh, pre-course. Alright, so the second part of the pre-course sounds like this. power chord shape that I showed you. All right, we're going to go ahead and play that eight times. All right, then keeping that hand position, we're going to move it up to a five seven power chord. All right, we're going to go ahead and play that eight times. All right, then we're going to move it down a half step to a four six power chord. All right, we're going to go ahead and play that eight times. that 2-4 power chord and uh, play that four times. All right, and then move it down a half step to a 1-3 power chord and play that four times. All right, so it sounds like this. All right, so when we're playing this, what we want to do is uh, build up uh, if you don't know how to do that, what you're going to do is start off softly and then build your way up progressively so it's louder. All right, so all together it sounds like this. All right, so now we're going into the course and uh, we're going to go ahead and kick on the overdrive so it sounds like this. Start off with that 2 4 power chord, and we're going to go ahead and play that eight times. All right, now what we're doing is barring the bottom three strings on the fourth fret. All right, we're going to go ahead and play that eight times. Okay. All right, then move it up so that we're barring the bottom three strings on the seventh fret. Okay, play that eight times. Okay, then move it down so that we're barring the fifth fret on the bottom three strings. Play that 
that four times. Okay, then move it down a half step so that we're barring uh, the fourth fret on the bottom three strings. All right, play that four times. All right, so all together. All right, we're gonna do that twice for the chorus. So right after the chorus is a little pre-verse and it sounds like this. All right, so this is gonna start off with that two four power chord shape I showed you earlier. Right, we're just gonna hit that once and then we're gonna go up to the sixth fret on the third string, bend it up and bring it back down. All right, one more time. Go down to the seventh fret on the fourth string. Okay. All right. So now we're going down to uh, the fourth fret on the fifth string. Now we're going to the sixth fret on the third string and bend it up and bring it back down. And then go down to the seventh fret on the fourth string. All right. So it sounds like this. So far we got this. All right, so now we're going down to uh, that chord shape that I showed you earlier, where it's going to be your ring finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string. And your pinky's going to go on the fifth fret of the fourth string. Your middle finger is going to go on the fourth fret of the third string. And the second string is going to be open. So it sounds like this when you play it. Right, we're just going to do that once and then slide it down a half step so it sounds like this. All right, we're just going to do that once. All right, so all together it sounds like this. All right, so now we're going to go back into the verse where it sounds like this. The second time that we play the pre chorus. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different, at least for the first part. Uh, the first part sounds like this. Alright, what this is, it's going to start off with the, the 2 4 power chord. Uh, it sounds like this. Just play it eight times. Keep that hand position and slide it up to a 5-7 power chord. Play that eight times. Okay. Now what we're doing is barring the seventh fret on the bottom three strings so it sounds like this. All right, and play that eight times. All right, then go down and bar the fifth fret on the bottom uh, three strings. All right, play that four times. Then bar the fourth fret on the bottom three strings and play that four times. All right, so uh, the first part of the second time that we played the pre chorus, it sounds like this. All right, and now for uh, the second part of the second time that we played the pre chorus, it's going to be the same thing as the first time that we played it. It's going to start off with that 2 4 power chord. I play it eight times. All right, and slide it up to a five seven power chord. And play that eight times. All right, then go down and uh, play a four six power chord. Do that eight times. All right, go back to that two four power chord and play it four times. All right, then go down to a one three power chord and play that four times. Alright, so all together, uh, that pre chorus the second time sounds like this. Alright, and then we go back into the chorus.
All right, so now we're gonna go into the solo. I'm not really a solo guitarist, so I don't know the whole thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I do know. Uh, it sounds like this. <laughs> That's going all the way up to, I think, 216 in the song. And uh, then the rest of the solo plays, that's the only part I don't know. Um, but I'll go ahead and put in the description the tabs that I use, so you can go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, but otherwise, let's go ahead and uh, try to learn this solo. That, uh, it's going to start on the 5th fret of the 4th string. All right, we're going to slide it up to the ninth fret on the 4th string. Okay. And we're going to go up to the 7th fret on the 3rd string. Right, then go back down to the ninth fret on the fourth string. Right, so it sounds like this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that three times. All right, then we're gonna go back to the seventh fret on the third string. All right, then we're gonna go up to the ninth fret on the third string and play that once. All right, and then we're gonna bend it up and bring it back down. All right, and then go down to the seventh fret on the third string. All right, so that part sounds like this. All right, so all together. Okay, so this next part is all going to be on the second string. We're going to go to the seventeenth fret. We're going to bend it up and bring it back down. All right, then we're going down to the 15th fret. We're going to do the same thing, bend it up and bring it down. All right, and go back up to the 17th fret and uh, do the same thing, bend it up and bring it down. All right, then go down to the 15th fret and just play it once. All right, and then go back up to the 17th fret and play it twice. All right, so this is what it sounds like. Alright, so once again what we have is this. Alright, so when uh, the part comes where Brent starts singing like, jump! Uh, what we're going to do is go to that 2-4 power chord, we're going to play it 8 times. Alright, then we're going to go up to a 5-7 power chord, play that 8 times. Alright, and then bar the 7th fret on the bottom 3 strings, play that 8 times. Alright, then go down to the 5th fret, bar that, and play that 4 times. Alright, then go down to the 4th fret, bar that, and play that 4 times. Alright, so that part sounds like this. doing is playing that three times. Alright, so after that the song goes like this. So what this is, we're going to do that 2-4 power chord. We're going to play that seven times. All right. And we're going to go up to that 5-7 power chord and do the same thing. Play that seven times. All right, so it sounds like this. All right. Now what we're doing is going down and barring the seventh fret on the bottom three strings. And uh, we're going to play that four times. Alright, then we're gonna play it twice after that kind of fast. Alright, so it sounds like this. One more time. Alright, now we're gonna go down to the fifth fret on the bottom three strings, bar that, and uh, play it three times. 
All right, and then go down to the fourth fret on the bottom three strings and uh, bar that and play that three times. All right, so all together that part sounds like this. All right, and then we're gonna go back into the chorus. Alright, so after the second time that you play the course, what you're going to do is go back to the second time that we played the pre-course. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play that. It sounds like this. Right after that, we're going to end by playing the 2-4 power chord and do that seven times. All right. All right, so all together it sounds like this. Alright, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you had any trouble learning the song, go ahead and put it down in the comments below, and I'll try to help you out. Otherwise, please like and subscribe, and if you haven't already, go ahead and leave a suggestion for a cover tutorial, whatever you want to see in the comments below, and I'll try to get on top of that. Till next time, guys, I'll see you later.